Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh nightly wrap-up show. Uh, if you are brand new, please uh, join along, right? Join along the conversation, like, subscribe, share. If you are watching this on Twitter, tweet it out. Help a brother out, tw tweet it out, uh, give a like, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. So let's talk about the market, right? Every day for the last three weeks, two and a half weeks, uh, I've been saying the same thing, whether it's on uh, the nightly video uh, or in the webinar or on Twitter or any any other social platform where I desire to spew my nonsense. And that is just give us one more day, right? Just give us one more day. Uh, we know it's going to end, okay? We know it's going to end violently. Nobody's going to tap us on, the market's not going to tap us on the shoulder and say, hey, that's it, this is it sell everything, go short. It doesn't happen that way. Usually uh, people, again, are trading with the rose-colored glasses on. Um, and again, what they could accomplish in two, three months, they give it back in two, three days because again, they keep on pushing the envelope, pushing the envelope, buying from the 12th floor, from the 21st floor, from the 221st floor and thinking nothing is going to happen. And eventually it's going to happen. And today was a perfect example of, well, euphoria became super loud, super aggressive, and the, the consequences were uh, as, uh, as aggressive. And, you know, we usually, you know, we usually talk about, listen, if you're going to give us the one more day, give us the one more day. We got the one more day. And not only did we get the one more day in the first couple of hours of the day, we also got the reversal. And we'll, we'll talk about uh, the natural pivots uh, in a few minutes. The last time we spoke, two things uh, happening. Uh, IWM, broke out you guys remember that iwm broke out um really really big level took out two months literally two months worth of congestion broke out today you know today i sold the last piece i mean phenomenal move absolutely phenomenal move google uh finally did what it had to do today right finally did gave us that really really big push into the 29 supply i mean look at this push here at the open Huge push out the open, just like everything else. And obviously this candle reflects not only Google, but pretty much everything in technology, the market got disgusting. The market got gravity and the market started punishing people who chased in the ninth inning and with the bottom of the ninth with two, you know, two men, uh, two outs and nobody on. And, and that's the price to pay, right? When you don't know, when you're not experienced, when you haven't seen a scenario, when you haven't played or traded in a euphoric market, you don't know what, the way it ends. The only way somebody's going to tell you, uh, you know, the only way you're going to find out is the hard way on your own, or somebody's going to tell you. So I've been kind of spewing this message for the last, especially for the last week or so. Don't let the euphoria uh, kick in. Take off the rose-colored glasses every single day. Keep on selling into strength because again, what we always talk about, you always want to sell when you want to, not when you have to. And we saw some ridiculous ridiculous declines today absolutely ridiculous i know it's not going to show up on the scoreboard uh the nasdaq got hit you know aggressively you know got hit for about 200 points or so uh but the Qs rolled over rolled over aggressively took down the five-day moving average and went down to the 10 we'll get to the importance of why it could be uh very very important uh, in a few minutes but you can see the mirror effect of all these high flying stocks, right? Nvidia, right? We've been talking about Nvidia, you know, rolling over with this exhaustion top for the last three, four days, right? It's nothing new. Nvidia today took down this whole channel here and first close below the 10 day moving average. Look at Amazon, right? Look at Amazon as well. Amazon again gave it up. The higher the move, right? The higher the move, the higher the floor you're jumping off the higher probability you're going to get your neck chopped off, your head severed, right? And that's exactly what you're seeing here. Chart after chart after chart. Again, Amazon, same thing. Had the monster, monster run. Whoever bought it today got their head chopped off, right? Closed, again, at the 10-day moving average. Google, same thing. Google, you had all that option flow. Finally gave us a phenomenal move. We've been in this thing for three days. Finally gave us that phenomenal move into daily supply at 129. Look at the reverse course and look at the bottom of the channel here. This whole bottom channel now, becomes into play if there's a, a continuation cycle okay look at that as well 
Look at AMD, got upgraded a couple of days ago, right? Got upgraded a couple of days ago, reverse course thing. Now, again, that bottom of the channel that we talked about for the last couple of days, it still becomes in play. This is still a bottom channel that if it confirms, it can get it washed as well. Look at Microsoft. Look at the disgusting turnaround today in Microsoft. I mean, this is violence. Very, very big violence. And it really does show you, once again, the higher the move away from the breakout level, the higher probability there is going to be a pull and there's going to be a very, very violent pull. And for those who laughed at it and put the you know, visors on and say, well, it's not going to happen to me. Well, hopefully it didn't happen to you. But, uh, you know, if you trade the market actively, you know what happened today. You know, you know exactly what happened today. And this was uh, a very, very aggressive, uh, very aggressive uh, stage. And now the question is, what happens next? And that's where we try to figure things out, right? So on the surface today, we traded and we closed on the 10-day moving average, right? This is the most important part here. This is the 10-day. And if, you, if you've been in the webinar or watched the PS60 workshops or any, anywhere around me, you, you know the significance of the 10-day moving average. That is the birth of the trade, right? It's always the birth of the trade because it takes an intermediate level off the chart and it starts building and expanding on it. Well, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, well, now we have to look at demand, right? So look at the queues tomorrow. If the queues start building below this bottom channel, and they confirm the 10-day moving average. Guys, look how much room you have. Again, that's the contingency plan. Again, is this a one-day wonder that the market just had, you know, just got ahead of itself, some gravity kicked in, and then tomorrow we're going to start rallying back to the highs? It's always possible. But again, like I say every single video, don't we have to be prepared on both sides of the market, right? In a perfect world for me, now, I don't know about your world. Again, I don't know where the market's going to be three days from now, three weeks from now, three months from now. I only care about tomorrow, okay? And I'm very flexible in my thinking. I'm very flexible in my decision-making. And I'm very, very flexible training both sides of the market. So it's all about tomorrow. And if I had a perfect world, if I had to write a script to make this as, as seamless and perfect as possible, we'll get a gap up tomorrow, right? I'm hoping, you know, if, you know, hoping we get a little bit of a gap up tomorrow in the NASDAQ 100 and all these names I just talked about. Because if they start confirming the bottom of the channels, right? If Q start confirming the bottom of the 10-day moving average, if AMD starts confirming below the 10-day moving average, and NVIDIA starts confirming below the 10-day moving average, if, you know, Microsoft and, you know, Google and all these things start confirming the bottom of the channels, we might be setting up for a very, very big premium day. Is it going to happen? I have no idea because if I knew 100% it was going to happen, I wouldn't be sitting here recording a video, right? I would just be doing it and, and you know, and... <laughs> and counting the blessings of, of 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 my research but we don't know again that's why we are always set for both sides of the market and we are prepared but in a perfect world right in a perfect world i would love to see a gap up i would love to see that gap up get stuffed into 60 minute supply and if they start losing today's ranges i think we can get a day two is it going to happen who knows to be determined but again it's always important to be prepared one stock that its own it's continues to be in its own uh, just an absolute push. If you guys remember, every level of uh, Tesla has been absolutely gone. This thing we traded up to the 230 level today, uh, put in a little bit of a, an inverted hammer. The key, in my opinion, to the speculation money trade, at least for technology, is if Tesla starts losing back this bottom channel. You see it? If it gaps up tomorrow and starts losing today's range, I think if the highest flying stock right now in the market, which is arguably Tesla, if it starts giving back its gains, I do believe everything else that we just talked about will have a day two. Is it possible? We don't know. It's probable. It's on the table and we will be ready for it. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about uh, today's session. Again, uh, the majority of the morning was just basically selling overnights. The IWM, uh, the Googles for all you guys who came in uh, Tesla today long uh, gave an $8 you know, gap. of Just a monster, monster moves everywhere. And then all of a sudden... We sat there, we sat there, yada, yada, yada. Let's get to the pivot. So uh, the morning, you know, the morning session, uh, Netflix got a couple of upgrades uh, for experienced traders only. Uh, 416 rejected twice pre-market uh, needs to build. Not a big move already. It was up a lot for the day, but it took out the 16. You can see here, you know, you can see here, it took out the 16 level, right? 16 level uh, traded to about 19, you know, $3 move before again, as you can imagine, uh, every technology stock got absolutely destroyed. If you guys remember, go back to a couple of videos ago. You guys remember we were talking about Carl Icon, right? IEP. 
We talked about IEP that kept on getting rejected twice at the 10 day. Well, it was finally a Carl Icahn's turn. If opens below 24 and a quarter, use the daily pivot. If not, 2460 needs to confirm. Look, guys, look at this move. It went from 2460 for the pre market highs all the way to 2770s. Just an absolute freakish move. Congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught that as well. Uh, AI never confirmed that 39 and a quarter level. Yes, there was a big move off the 37. Uh, Chewy never confirmed 39. As you can imagine, everything got pulled. NNOX never confirmed the 2269. And here's where things got very, very... Uh, here's a nice little move here on, uh, you know, AMD off the open. Uh, yesterday, had a big breakout yesterday from 2166. Uh, stopped at the 2440s level. Confirmed the 2440s. Today, traded up to almost 26 before, obviously... Uh, everything reverse course again it really shows you how uh, how great the market is nvidia never got up to the 395 level uh and so here it is right so here was the comments and this is kind of where the day really set its tone phenomenal morning push again congratulations for you guys who had overnights and all that good stuff stocks are starting to turn red this is the very first inning we started seeing stocks turning red Again, this is where we were prepared for. Let's see if the 11 o'clock candle, if this reversal has more. And that was the most important part. Not anticipating, not hoping, not praying, not trying to guess. We waited. We waited. We waited. And then we finally got the clue. QQQ, 350-150s, if it builds below, can flush more. Yes, it flushed more, right? Here's the 350-150s, right? So here's the 350-150s. And it just got absolutely destroyed, traded right to the 10-day moving average, the 48.50s, 60s level that we talked about. Just an absolute phenomenal trade. And now it's definitely setting the tone uh, for tomorrow's session. So again, the market continues to be uh, really, really good. I go, I go, you know, I go. Here comes the text messages. As you guys on the, in the webinar know, know what I'm talking about. Uh, another one. Yeah. So I go cover half has a shot to 348, 349. It traded down to 348.30s. Just an absolute phenomenal move. Uh, again, the stage is set tomorrow. The game plan is set tomorrow. Uh, again, if you are praying to a little bit of on market guides, let's hope for a little bit of a gap up, right? Let's hope for a gap up tomorrow. And if we can get that gap up and it stuffs that gap up and we can start taking down today's ranges, maybe we'll get a day two. Guys, God bless everybody. Have an awesome day awesome rest of your evening and with god's help i'll see you tomorrow take